I'm a happy boy today. Hello YouTube, Shin Tiger Curl here, that dude the straw hat, bringing you yet another awesome review, or awesome movie, or awesome video in this case, I'm sorry, I'm stubbing. Uh, it's now 7.48 a.m. Wednesday, and surprise, surprise, something came early in my, in my box, the newest chapter, One Piece, yes sir. Kind of a, a little bit earlier than norm, than it normally does, but I'm glad it drops. So anyway, last time on One Piece, we learned more about the, about Santi's family, the Vinsmock family, and we also learned that, that Luffy plans to crash Big Mom's tea party, and also the two samurai that have been traveling with the Straw Hats, they've made it into Zoo. Yeah, it's chaos is about to reign again. For this means, I mean, as you for pretty much remember from the last, from the previous chapters, a samurai is not really looked upon from uh, looked upon favorably since a samurai kind of started this whole mess that left the entire country in ruins. But anyway, let's get down to it. Chapter eight sixteen: Dog versus Cat. Hmm. The cover art is of. Um, <laughs> Is of um the the uh, the members uh, from is is from the people from Water Seven, particularly the Galar ship riders, as well as a few members of Frankie's old gang, the Frankie family, and of course, uh, the mayor of Water Seven and Frankie's old old um fellow apprentice, uh, Iceberg, from the decks of the world, five hundred million man very man arc, volume ten, Water Seven. You've gone and done what? <laughs> Uh, it, there we go. So anyway, after some very, very impressive color color issues, okay, an emergency situation grave enough to sh shake the entire country. Okay, so Brooke, Robin, and Frankie, who fell asleep at the last chapter, re just realized that Kuniman and and his, and the others have made it onto the island, and and they're like, uh, all three of us dozed off. Damn it! This entire country, the Momonoke dukedom, was almost raised to the ground because of Raizo, a samurai they'd never seen or heard of before. If they me happen to meet any samurai looking for that very Raizo, there's no way they'd let him off so easily. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, and there's some still some drawings left in the ground, and Robin says they need to find them. And it's, they're asking, by the way, is just me or does someone hear a bell ringing? Hmm. They'll come up to. Yep, it's Barrett's bell. He's ringing the he, he's ringing the alarm to let them know that samurai have come. So we've cut to the right belly fortress. Duke Ino Dino and Inurashi. I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry. So he's still pretty fucked up after what happened, and he's the and anyone he's asking anyone that can move to come with him to the capital. He's ready to go to war. And the two samurai just walking along the forest, completely unaware of the shit storm they're about to cause. And Kuniman is asking if if um Law made it with those you know, to made it clear to those human having tribes. But he's asking. Okay, he's asking um, if um, his Ajuro that they made it clear that there were non-human that there was a human-hating tribe living on Zoom other than the Minks themselves. And Juno's like that. There's an old rumor, a more recent one. Momonosuke greets his father and Kanjiro, and of course they're all sorry for wait, making him making him worry, and asking where Luffy and the others are. Uh, uh, Momonosuke says that he's ever since he set foot on this island, he's been feeling uneasy. I've been resting alone in my room, and he did it. And then we go to the whale forest, and Lu and this is just after the party because they always party. And Luffy, half asleep, is wondering why the heck they're sprinting so early in the morning. And Nami says, Kuneman and what's his name, Kanjiro. The whole country is in an uproar right now. There's news that two samurai have appeared. And Luffy's like, so we're going to have another banquet? Consecutive banquets are awesome. Nami stretches his face and pinches him, telling him that they're going to be in big trouble. The, and, and of course, the other, and of course, Duke Nekomamushi and whoever can go is moving just because there's samurai on the island. And he has an entire army at his, back, at his backside. 
He is pissed. So anyway, they reach the Claw City. Um, Neko's asking, where are they? Someone says they're looking, but it seems people from around the country are already gathered here at the capital. And Pedro goes to a tower and looks, and he says, it appears that I have best interest to retreat for the time being. But Neko Mabushi can't hear him, for whatever reason. And then the two dukes meet. And it looks like they're about to throw down, because remember, the two dukes don't, so don't like each other that they prefer to work at different hours of the day. One working at night and the other at day, just so they have to deal with each other. And it looks like they're about to throw down, and Kuneman is there, and it looks, oh, Kuneman and his group are there, and um, the others seem to have run into him. And they tackled him to the, to the ground. And, and and Nami pulls her finger to Momonosuke's uh, face, and he's just enjoying any kind of skinship that he can have with pretty ladies. And he's like, all three of you, we're not going to yell at you or anything, but please, get back to the sunny. And we come, we cut to Ino and Neku meeting, like, how many years has it been, you freakish flea bag? Looks like time has made you even more freakish. Says the mutt who got half his leg taken off. And someone is about to throw down. And um, and they flash back to the time when they were crucified. And Jack, and uh, well, Jack the drought is like, bring Rizo out. He should be here. And Eno's like, how many, he's not here. How many times must I tell you? I, went, I wonder which happened first. Will you lose this leg or will you tell me what the samurai is? The game starts now, King Dog. I guess there's no saving this leg of mine then. And he gets his leg tear, tear, ripped off. And that was um, for my aunt. My mother's going to the doctor. Uh, let's see. Uh, he says, looks like your arm has seen better days. Guess you won't be doing any fighting anytime soon. All you're fit for now is worrying about how you're going to stuff lasagna into it, you fat gob. Garfield. And he flashes back to when he was crucified, and he says he can't tell you the where, he can't tell the whereabouts of someone who ain't here. Why in the world would Wano Kingdom citizens come here? And he's still talking shit, even though he was jacked up on a, on a massive cross. And he's like, "You release your gas and fight only weakened warriors. You gutless cowards call yourselves soldiers." Damn, this guy's trying to tear the chains off that are holding him, that are holding to crucify him. Did the gas have any effect on him? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. And they're commenting that, um, damn, this guy's t trying to tear the chains off that are holding him up. Did the gas not affect him? And one of in this in the compa All right, mom. Mom's heading to the to the um doctor's appointment today. So anyway, um. So the members of Jack's crew decide that they're just going to take one of his arms off. And he agrees, just take these arms of mine. If you've got time to point them at this country's people, point them at me instead. Those twigs you call spears, I'll take them all. Damn, this guy's a hard ass. All right. Uh, shame you only got away with missing a leg. I had not minded if you just died. This country needs only one ruler. These two really don't like each other. Well, they're a cat and a dog. They can't get along. And they prepare to draw their weapons. And they have an epic clash. Now, this is amazing. And Kuneman decides to open his big yap. And unfortunately, he got this. He just. They caught sight of him. And, if, and Usopp's like, look what you've done. They spied us. Run for it, Kuneman. They'll make a chew toy out of you. And he, he and uh, Kanjiro um, goes out too, along with Momonosuke. And Usopp tries to warn him that they bear no ill will. Uh, and he's like, "Ye of the," and, and Kuniman is like, "Ye of the country of Zu. I am a retainer of Kogetsu of the Kogetsu family of the Wano Kingdom. My name is Kuneman. We have come in search of a warrior from our country, a comrade named Zeraizo. Has he come here by any chance?" And 
and Usopp and Chopper are, have lost their shit. He's like, holy shit, do you not hear anything we said? These people almost died because Rizo guy wasn't here. And what? We have been eagerly, and, 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 and Eno's like, we've been eagerly waiting for your arrival. Lord Rizo is safe? Wow, look, look at this shit. All of them are bowing. What the fuck? Damn. Now that's a twist. I mean, we just saw this entire country get ass fucked by a guy with a billion berries on his head looking for a samurai that everyone claims doesn't exist. Everyone pretty much got their asses destroyed by these guys. Their country got wrecked. Their people poisoned. Their leaders got maimed beyond recognition while saying that the guy didn't ex didn't live here. And now they say that... He okay, mind fucking blown. This is not the reaction I was expecting. Wow. But let's keep reading. We got more to go. And the Straw Hats are completely shocked. And Kudemon's like, is that so? Safe, huh? I'm glad. And Usopp's like, wait a minute, wait a second. So Rizo was really here this whole time and you all knew? And they're all smiling gladly to have known that. And you got all of you would have died. This millennia old civilization would have been reduced to rubble. And uh, Neko's like, forgive us for keeping it a secret from you all. We and the Kugetsu clan of the Wano Kingdom have been as family for longer than I care to say. Even if it meant our country's demise, we never ran out one of our friends to the enemy. Wow. And of course, I figured that the only reason why this would come out so soon, next issue we will be on hiatus. So, no video next week. But yeah. Wow. Mind blown. Wow. What can you say? About this chapter. Biggest thing we learned that that not only that the that the that the straw hats while trying to keep the samurai out of the country thought that the that all the residents of the of zoo were just gonna lose their shit and attack those guys and attack the straw hats for bringing them to their country. But now we know that all this shit they went through was just because they were good friends with the with Rizo, this Rizo person whom Kunemon is a retainer of. And not only they went through so much shit, the dedication they have to this man is so great that they fought with one of the most powerful pirate crews in the world, suffered unimaginably horrors at the hands of these terrible pirates. Their two rulers were maimed, one losing his leg, the other losing his arm, while steadfastly fastly claiming that this Rizo person is not here, and yet they did it all to protect him. That is loyalty beyond reason. Wow. Mine is blown. Uh, wow. Just goes to show you that just when you think you know where the story is going, Oda takes a deep left curve and you're in another whole neighborhood. Mm, mm, mm. I thank you, Oda Sensei. You are a master. Master. But anyway, that's one piece. If you, this is my video, that's my video. If you like what you see, link, comment, subscribe below. Got any questions, comments, or if your mind is just as blown as mine at this revelation, Leave it below. I will get back to you. Supporting the channel, you already know what to do, so I'm not going to say it. But if you want to hook, hook, hook me up, just Captain Luffy on Twitter. I'll leave all the information in the, in the chat below, in the description below. So until next time, it's been Shin Tiger Curl. That dude in the straw hat saying good day and.